Alright, welcome back to another episode. Uh, you might have noticed that I've changed, showered, went to a restaurant, got some decent food, some beer. Uh, I am in a marina. I don't know if you can see out the window. I had to get towed in to Hatteras, North Carolina. Uh, it was going to take me three days to get to the anchorage or the marina I was trying to go to and to get towed in the closest towboat company was Hatteras so it'd have to come from Hatteras all the way there tow me in and then go all the way back and bill me for the entire time they were gone so it just made more sense to come back to Hatteras and the fact that it took me Let's see. Ten hours to sail to the little anchor, to the little uh, inlet that I was at, and it only took me four hours to sail back. So that's what the power of the wind can do, or the lack thereof. So, well, I guess yesterday also I was jumping down into the engine, jumping back up to the, the uh, cockpit to fix the direction of the boat, jumping back down the, the uh, engine, messing with that, jumping back up to the, the helm, correcting the course, then jumping back down to the engine and back and forth, back and forth all day. So, I was exhausted when I made the video yesterday. Um, in fact, I don't know how well it's going to show up. I am at actually no, there it is. I am at Odin's Dock in North Carolina. I'm actually in that slip where that boat is right now. Uh, yeah. I tried to go to not a touch screen. <laughs> Let's see. Breakwater was closed for the day. Sunny's waterfront was closed. Dinks is closed. Harbor Deli is closed. There's a general store right there. I may visit them. Had her a soul, they were closed. So I went all the way down here to uh, the Rec Tiki Bar. They have some amazing uh, fish dip. And yeah, I had a great sandwich too. And then there's another little. Uh, market store over here all within walking distance I think the wreck was a little over a mile but I had already walked 0.8 of a mile so another 0.4 wasn't that bad it's hot though humid tomorrow uh, the goal is to come over to the next marina over because they have laundry machines this one doesn't and wash those filthy clothes that I've been wearing for the past five days because you could probably smell it if you walked in the boat but let's get that cleaned up I'll probably be here for let's 
see, the last package is supposed to arrive on the 12th. So, possibly a week. I'll talk to the Marina tomorrow about trying to get a the weekly rate. Because the daily rate, for so many days, like if you get the daily rate for more than three days, you might as well just get the week rate. Because it's cheaper. to talk to them about that tomorrow. You notice I am back on the GoPro. Uh, I plan on getting a converter so that I can run the laptop and the GoPro, start doing decent videos again after I get the engine fixed. I did order the part. Um, tomorrow I'm also going to take off the old part to see if I can't um, not break everything while I take it apart because it's all been on there a while and looks like it's pretty corroded. We walk down to the uh, store and see if I can get some WD-40 or some other sort of lubricant to try and soften things up a bit. Um, yeah, I made it in. I'm safe. Had some good food, some good beer. Now I'm probably just going to do some more research on the Intercoastal Waterway. So I might try and take the Intercoastal down to Jacksonville. Oh, I'll take the ocean from there depending on the weather. But we'll see. I might even get a hotel room while I'm here just so I can get some air conditioned nights. Yeah, we're getting by. Do it better. Alright, we'll catch you next time.